Listen to my meandering, and you will be rewarded. Into the Water is a novel of psychological suspense and it focuses on um, sisters who've been estranged for many years. At the opening of the book, one of the sisters dies and her younger sister has to come back to this place where they spent their holidays and try and unpick not just the mystery leading up to this death, but also everything that's gone wrong in their lives to get them to this point. It's people who, who were living their ordinary life and something something terrible happens and I'm always interested in what happens next and where do you go from there or how did you get to that point and just unpicking that sort of um, how, how you how one goes from ordinary to extraordinary is what, what, what fascinates me. A lot of this book is about the stories we tell about ourselves and our families and it's about our memories from childhood. And so I was thinking about that and I was thinking about how everybody has, well most people have this connection to water and you often have these childhood memories of holidays spent at the beach or at a lake or at a river or what have you and they're usually joyful memories um, and they're hopefully uncomplicated memories. But if you've ever had a bad experience, you can have a very different kind of relationship to water and it's this thing which is beautiful and calming but also dangerous and also mysterious and it hides things. So from a novelist's point of view, it's a great medium. There are lots of famous women going into water and, they, well, there's Virginia Woolf and there's Ophelia and, the, yeah, there are lots of stories about this. And there's something, it's almost been creepily kind of romanticised, the portraits you see of Ophelia, she's holding flowers and that kind of thing, and it's beautiful, but it's not beautiful. There's nothing beautiful about drowning. It's a horrible fate. So I think that's one of the things that I'm exploring in this book. My working life is incredibly busy and brought and um, but and I live in a nicer apartment than I used to. My ideal place is still sitting at home at my desk writing. That's still what I want to do. Um, I like the movie. Um, I think the movie was a really good, interesting adaptation of the book. It was faithful to the to what to the core of the book. It was faithful to the, the darkness and the grittiness and the nastiness and the claustrophobia. And Emily Blunt was a fantastic Rachel. She was sad and pathetic and exactly how Rachel should be. The movie is, is necessarily not going to be the thing that you imagined in your head. You have to treat the movie as a separate entity. It's inspired by the book, but it isn't the book. The book is still there, untouched, unspoiled. I usually start with character. I do. I, I started, The Girl on the Train started with Rachel. And this book, Into the Water, started with Jules and Nell, the sisters. And then I build around them and around their, like, how do they get, to, why are they like this? Why are they so messed up? I like that there are many mysteries in it, some of which are solved and some of which aren't. There are things for the reader to figure out themselves and things for them to wonder about. I like all the connections with the past. I'm drawing this thread going way back, hundreds of years, in, in ways in which women who have proved troublesome have been silenced or marginalised in different ways. By the time they drag her out the second time, her lips are the blue of a bruise.